morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. It's your favorite ghost here with another and very important video with the new content in 3.2. Today, we're going to talk about beast taming, and I'm going to show you how to tame a beast, how to feed it, how to sell it. That way, you can make some money from doing this with the new currency in the stock market area of Domain 9. Starting off first, you will know that if you go here to Artificial Island, you can build two out of the four beast pens okay i built the cavern and i built the celestial right now i already have one fire rat tamed and i'm going to show you how to do that so if you click on the tamed trap part down here you can find out exactly where they are on the map right here you can see i have two fire rats with the nets marked on them this shows that they are able to be tamed so what we're going to do is we're going to feed it some important info before we start is that if you do not do this correctly and they attack you you will not be able to capture this this creature so we're going to hit go first we're going to see that this thing needs a certain type of food so we're going to go in our inventory we're going to find that food we're going to scroll down to select feed and we'll feed it. He will either get happy or he'll get pissed. So he got happy. So now we're going to feed him again. And before you know it, you should be able to catch him. Boom. Easy. We caught him. Okay, now let's see what happens when you don't feed him the correct thing. Let's feed him something different. He is angry. He did not like that. Okay, my bad. Now he will attack me. Once the animal attacks you, you will not be able to catch him anymore. So that's the difference between the two. All right, now that we got our animal, let's go ahead and Head over to Artificial Island, and we will set him free in the new pen. There are four different types of creatures you can catch. Special, Celestial, Cavern, and the fourth being... Um, let's see, I gotta double check. The fourth being Desert. So, you got Desert, Special... And then um, cavern. I have cavern here. No creature yet. And then as you can see here. He drops a fire core. You can feed him once a day. Now he's level two. Maximum. Okay, so you can feed him every so often. He's now level two. And now we're going to actually, we're going to drop our other one in there, wherever he may be, right there, see? Now we have a level two and a level one, and we're going to feed him as well. He likes the bamboo. He's level two, maximum feeding so now basically you're just going to level them up. You're going to feed them. You're going to upgrade your building when you can. Right now I can obviously until tomorrow after the reset. Now what's more important now after you spend some time with your beast and you have able to tame it, you can go to this special vendor in domain nine in the new area and you can go ahead and sell your tame beast. This is another way to get some currency it does take a couple days for you to be able to tame it i think it's up to three days so if you stay on it on the third day you'll be able to come here down to the tail statue just teleport there you're going to end up in the trading market area the stock market area is what i like to call it we'll go to the stock market area and we'll head over to the vendor. So the vendor is going to be on this side. Over here. 
down over the very end is where the beast tamer is the beast tamer merchant she is going to adopt your beach uh beasts so as you can see i have nothing but the going rate for a fire rat tamed is 55 okay so you can see here that there is increase and decreases daily on the tame pets so it may be wise to keep some longer until you can have a day where the person's going to go ahead and buy these from you and as you can see you can only sell a certain amount to this person which i believe is monthly what you want to do before you do any of that is do the exploration and get your statue here to level six you're going to get your best bang for your buck and then you can come here every week after you're done selling trading and you can come to different merchants that have different goodies um one of them being cosmetics as in like eyes or eye shapes right here we have many different types of cosmetics there's the panda hat there's this hat and there's also gifts as well so that's really all it is to it it's super easy to do you can find the monsters by just literally going to the recommended casual go down to trap and whatever monsters you want to find we can catch if we want to do another one we can go ahead and do a cactus so we'll go here we'll see what a cactus wants to eat we will capture one of those and we will go put them in our pen and then tomorrow or later on today we're going to check back and we're going to see if they need to be fed again and we're just going to feed them treat them nicely pet them give them all the loves until we sell them for the money that we want more than the animals crazy yes worth it also yes so this one doesn't have a sign over his head. Might be wise to check it out. Be nothing. Nothing from any of them. So sometimes you have to run around and just try to find one. nothing well that's a no-go on the cactus at the moment but that's it you just go around you find them you find the one with the net you feed them you make them happy you put them in the capsule and then you set them free in the pen then don't forget don't be like me and forget about your goldfish and it dies on you all right so make sure you feed them make sure you take care of them get in there get your money get out if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to come by my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tony2Ghosts. I'd be happy to give you any answers. Thank you guys so much for making me want to wake up every day and create content for you guys. I really appreciate the feedback and I'll see you in the next one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell, get the notifications for the next time a new video goes up instantly. You can come check me out live at twitch.tv slash 22 ghosts. I'll be streaming to YouTube very shortly as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate the support and I'll see you in the next one.